Creosubic volcanic system is sinking. And there is a reason for that. I will try to explain it by geophysical data, which shows what is going on inside the Earth. These are the earthquakes in the Iceland, the whole island of Iceland. We are dealing with the Reckonus Peninsula, where the Creosubic volcanic system is there, is located in the middle of this uh, image, the lower part of the center. And you see sometimes a green star there. Here, I have a tr uh, put a square there, you can see it. And uh, within that, we have the Chrysovic volcanic system. Earthquakes are happening there, and there are numerous of them. And these are the volcanic systems moving and creating what we call as a plate boundary. The plate boundary is exactly where this uh, concentration of these uh, earthquakes is uh, located. The plate boundary between the Eurasia to the right and the Americas to the left. And we can actually see with further data what's going on inside this area. For example, this is again the uh, interferometry. You can see that in the central part near that lake where the line is here. Mark it again here. You see some noise pattern is not rising or very much a sinking probably more sinking than rising when we have actually a rises to the left side of this image in the volcanic system of the sword Sengi. and again it is the gps data in three axes and what we are seeing in the z axis up and down is that the area is going down earthquakes actually are creating voids and porosity in the rocks here these rocks are getting pulverized, crushed at the depth of the f anything between 9 to 4 kilometers. You can see the depth of the earthquakes under that area. This is all the fault lines. i marked them here. You can see this is an example of this similar formation of the fault lines. They create a weakness zone that later can be filled with the magma. The fracture zone is actually able to hold liquids in it. In the normal cases, we will have water there. The streams will flow toward the surface from there. They are not very huge holes. They are tiny pores, we should say them. Tiny pores are not huge, but yet they can hold fluids. In the case of water, they can hold water. In the case of if it is a magma present in the vicinity of this, can gradually melt them, incorporate them into magma, and form a larger body of molten rock, which we call magma. And uh, this area, due to this uh, shift in a movement, creates a rift, or as we call a rift valley. The area sinks. You see the lake there? The lake is created because of this. This is what has created our oceans in many ways. And some of the closures of the ocean, when these uh, movements of the faults actually come together. In the Iceland, we have opening up this. And uh, this opening makes the whole earth rise. It will not create a void, it will not create a caldera, the whole earth mantle rises, and top part of it melts, and when it, can't re uh, when it can reach the surface, it explodes. It may reach the surface with the explosion, or gently flow. This has happened in the past, in the Chrysovic volcanic system, we have evidence for that. And this flow creates this kind of lava flows, as we see, volcanism, as we call it, and the... Uh, Evidence for that is all over the place in the Chrysovic volcanic system. In many places on the earth, we have similar situations where the magma has reached the earth uh, surface. These are not creating voids in the ground. The whole earth is rising, reaching the surface. Unlike a caldera, caldera is the normal stratovolcano. When each Stratovolcano is this kind of layered volcano. When the magma leaves the cone of the volcano, the whole cone collapses. And when it collapses into the void, it creates a crater or caldera. And that's totally different to what we see in the Chrysovic, where we have actually the earth mantle rising because of due to the stretch and filling up the gap all the time. In the caldera, when the magma chamber emptied that's it a void is created and the whole volcano collapses into it forming what we call as a caldera